Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? Fine. I'm fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Um, um define depending in my house. You painted your house. Oh, that's good. What color? Color white. Nice. Good. All Working. right. <laughs> Working in my house. Yeah, good. <laughs> Me too. I like to paint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you? Uh, let me see. Tell me what you did, Miguel. Hi, about what? What did you do in the weekend? Uh, I working in the weekend. You worked? See, si, yes. I stay work, I have um, in the weekend, uh, uh, weekend too. Uh, working too. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. And you, Evelyn? I went to uh, uh, lunch with all my family and my boyfriend's family. Because they were celebrating the first communion, so I don't have to say. The first communion for who? Uh, for my my boyfriend and niece, I think. Okay. How do you say so? Niece, niece. Okay. So, so my boyfriend and niece, and then I went to the beach. You went to the beach. Nice. With your family? With my, my boyfriend and my friends. I think you will soon get married. <laughs> it, it, it looks serious. Imagine you go to the family's primer, first communion, kiss. Have been a couple for five years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's a long time. His family loves you? Yes. And your family? Yes, my, I my hope. family loves. I hope <laughs> my family loves my boyfriend. Yeah, okay. And I go to Samuel if, I, if he don't go, go with me, it's like. He, Where is he? What he, happened? Yeah, uh, yes. Is everything okay? <laughs> Tell me. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. My mother cooked for, for him now. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I love my, my, my wife's parents. They're very nice. I really like them. Okay. They're very nice. Oh, that's good, though. All right, what about you, Gustavo? What's up? Hello. Hello, how was your weekend? Um, my weekend, short of time. Yeah, did you go to San Miguel? Yes. So I had too, too much thing to do. What did you do? Uh, no, enough time. On Saturday, well, clean clothes, make some uh, stuff uh, at home. Sorry, excuse me. How do you clean clothes? Uh, wash my clothes. Wash my clothes. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, with my grandmother. I am um, 
we went to buy a new cell phone for she. For her? For her, for her, right. Uh, um, then come back to home. Um, at my mom's home, I need to make some repairs and that all day. Did you visit your girlfriend in San Miguel? Yes. At uh, Saturday late. She is not very happy, but. What about your girlfriend in San Salvador? Uh, he's still waiting for me, for me to. Okay, it's, it's, still, it's on standby. It's on standby. <laughs> All right, cool. And when did, when did you, you come say, back? How do you say fiel in English? Faithful. Faithful, okay. I'm really faithful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you are faithful to the two. <laughs> well, we can say that. <laughs> and when did you come back? Today? Not yesterday, late. Late at night. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, you have a, a hook, right? Yes. How much, if I may ask, I'm sorry, how much money do you spend on gasoline from San Miguel, like the round trip from here to San Miguel, San Miguel to here? Complete tri trip, maybe $20 or less, uh, even the the drive mall. If I come or go in a sport mall, maybe 20. If I go on normal mall, maybe 15, 16 dollars. With or without, with or without the um, air conditioning. And with the, the air conditioning. Oh, wow, hey, that's good. Yeah, it's good. It's not... Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, yeah. All right. Hey, Nato, how was your weekend? I we came uh, in Saturday. Uh, in the morning, I work. Uh, and Sunday, I went visit my mother. Oh, yeah? In, in Aguilar City. Okay. Where is Aguilar? Eh... Carretera Troncal del Norte. Road to Troncal del Norte. Road to Troncal del Norte. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. I, but how was your weekend? Hello, Alba. Are you there? No, she's not there. Oh, Maribel. Hi, hello. How was your weekend? Teacher. Hi. It, in the weekend, uh, I I did homework, homework in the house. My my daughter and my grand grandson. Oh, okay, okay. You help your grand. Oh, that's good. Good, nice. And the last, Giovanni. How was your weekend, sir? I'm very busy. Um. I was working on Saturday and in the afternoon, I visited my family, my mother. Um, yesterday, I wake up early to run in the morning and the afternoon, I went to my third vaccination for COVID. Oh, you third vaccination now? Yeah. And are you okay? Yeah. I'm no fine. effects? No effects? No, only the 
the atoms, uh, but is softly. Okay. Listen, um, ustedes estuvieron escribiendo en el chat, huh? No? No, in my case, no. Oh, because um, cuando abrí el chat había como 180 chats. What? No, no había donde empezar. Like, what, what happened? Hmm. Pero creo que era un, un, un mistake de, de la plataforma, pero no creo que era esta clase. Okay, so let's practice here. So, Yo mandé Mr. uno, teacher, pero lo mandé al, a, a una dirección que no era el chat. Si no, oh, ok. No, uh -huh. Estaba Entonces, fallando la, la plataforma. Pero no la han arreglado todavía. Es la 3, la 12, me parece. Ok. Yeah, it's 3, 6. That's the. It's not upload the, the audio. Uh, always. All right, do you see my screen? Yes. 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 So it says listening exercise, carnival time. All right, carnival time. Instructions, it says, listen to the audio and answer the following questions. Type in full answers. For question number two, type the number in letters. Okay, so let's see. Ese que no había subido que decían, ¿verdad? No, abre. Well, we'll come back to that because there's no audio. Okay, now let's talk about wedding day. Wedding day. Who is married here? Enaro, are you married? Yes, teacher, I am married. Do you remember your wedding day? I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember. Wow. Do you remember your anniversary? Teacher, teacher. Eh, yes. ¿Qué significa wedding? Ah, eh, okay. Aniversario. No. Dun, dun, taran, dun, dun, taran. Mm. The day you signed your contract for life. Mm. This day is inolvidable. Be yeah, the day you get married, do you remember? Yes. What day was yeah. it? Uh -huh. the... Tell me, tell me, tell me. What day was it? Is it a uh, quanto tiempo? No, the date. The day. Was it in I January, know. November? Ah, uh, in December. December what? December 18. Oh, okay. Oh man, that's not good. Because you have to give your wife an anniversary gift and Christmas. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> or two for one. Operation Frio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for Don Pollo and Little Caesars. Mm, no. Yeah. I I go and eat a uh, diner special. Special dinner. Okay, that's good. Okay. Good for you. Um, do you remember? Did you celebrate? Did you have a party? Yes, I celebrate. Okay. Do you remember what song you danced? 
Almost on the hills. Well, do you remember any song you dance? <laughs> yes. What song did you dance? Um, Balada para Delina. Oh, from Richard Claterman. Yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beautiful song, yeah. All right, good. Let me see who else is. Uh, Alba, are you married? No. Okay, are you happy? <laughs> she said no. You said a very enthusiastic, so that's good. <laughs> Thanks, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Daniel? Are you married? Dan, Dan Palace, are you married? Yes, a wedding. Okay, you had a wedding. Did you have a party? Yes, I I had um, party. Okay, what in song did you dance? Oh, really? In the planes, nice. Where? Um, Restaurante Bella Vista. Oh, nice. That doesn't exist anymore. Today, huh? today is is today is um, Chilena is something, right? Argentino is un, un, hoy es un restaurante argentino. No, hoy es de caché. El fin de semana cambió de nombre. De caché. Yes. Yeah, I know that restaurant is good. Ese era que tenían en el menú, verdad? Que tenían una ballena que valía un millón de colones. Yes. Pero, pero era un chiste, o sea, que una ballena, like, really? Ballena empanizada con camarones, anticipar con un año, por favor, yo. <laughs> I remember that restaurant, the beer, very cold. All right. I dancing, and after dancing, uh, uh, dancing uh, some, some, uh, um, to some uh, tiemp time de tiempo de vals y um, um, uh, so um, I feel good mm -hmm. so good really so good. you mix those two songs yeah. that's cool fear, fear, um, thank you uh, after oh crazy yeah i can imagine your tiempo de vals and, and then wow i feel good no, no, no. oh they, that's good <laughs> yes. hey that's good mm -hmm. all right giovanni garcia are you married yes teacher all I'm right Did, are you happy <laughs> You said, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm happy. Married life is the best, really. I, I love married life. I love to go home and to my family. It's, it's the best feeling to go home and your wife and son. Do you, did you have a wedding uh, party? Yes. Uh, in this... Um, Location, the music manager was late at, at the party, and we had we had a party after, and we danced, and we went into the pool to other form to distraction uh, the other people, but it it was wait wait wait, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you went inside the pool with clothes. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. After, after the party. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Excuse me. You said the music manager or the band or the DJ? Uh, DJ. Oh, okay. The DJ. He came late. Yeah. Oh, man. With a typical excuse. I body disculpar hoy. But uh, and finally, all all 
was good, very good. I remember this day. Very good. I remember the day I got married. The next day I went to the hotel at five or six in the morning. It was a crazy night. All right. Um, so this is what the video is going to be about. Wedding. Conversation. Your wedding day. So let's hear it. Hi. Can you hear? To the Can you hear? Yes. Following conversation yes. and find out how people in yes. Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. In Sorry. Um, in El Salvador, what is a traditional wedding? Similar to what uh, Giovanni, Genaro, and Daniel explained, right? You get married religiously, and then you have a party, correct? Now, I know there are many, there, there are different, different ways, but generally speaking, it's, it's like that. You have a party, the woman dresses in white. Oh, one thing, no sabia. In a wedding, women cannot dress in white, correct? Only, only the bride. Correct? Yes. yes. What about the groom, Gustavo? What? What about the groom? What does the groom usually wear? Oh. Um. Yeah. Even. Even the case may. If if it's a wear more formal. Every people wear. No, but middle. what normally? What does the groom wear? Oh, mm. maybe a uh, complete suit. Okay, good. Oh, you know something I remember the day I got married in church when I was walking in the altar, I had no shoes, only in socks. Really? Yes. Why? I don't know what happened. Maybe that day I was nervous or not nervous, but I was very stressed. Because um, I did not enjoy the day I got married, the, the morning. I, I, I loved the, the, the wedding and the party. But in the morning, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to get married. And then ring, hello. David, and that's right to Papa. Oh, man. Hey, I'm getting married. Tell my brother. 
So I have to go pick up my father. And then my mother, mira, tu tío está en el aeropuerto. Really, man? So that day I was very stressed. So I don't know, maybe, but when I put my shoes on, they didn't fit. They were very, very tight. Pero, no sé, se me inflamó los pies. I don't know. But I couldn't walk. And I was, oh, man. And, and I had a suit. But when I was walking, I couldn't. So I took off my shoes and, and, and I walked. I, it's funny. I got married with no shoes. So that's, that was cool. So I, that's a traditional wedding. You get married in your religion. You go to a party. Yes. Um, now the, the gifts is money, right? Well, yes. case, yes. Or how do you say, semen table or tambours table? Yeah, there's there's a reception. Yes. Yeah, that's I, that's the part I like. But you know what? Um, one thing I recommend, for example, to Evelyn, if you ever get married, the difficult part is planning. Because. Let's say you want to invite your friend to the colegio, right? Oh, invitar a Carla. Oh, pero Carla vive con la mamá y la abuela. So sometimes just to invite one person, you have to invite four. You know, and, and you say like, oh my God. So then when, when you finish the list and then you reduce it, you say, well, Carla no es tan chera chera mía hoy. <laughs> like before. <laughs> so... You know, forget Carla. <laughs> yeah, because if, they if, don't if, speak. Yeah, you they know. They don't I, speak with other family. Yes. You know, I haven't spoken, I haven't seen Carla in two years. So, no. That's the problem, you know, because when you start calculating how many people will go, you have to think that for every person you want to invite, that person will have two, will be two or maybe three. If they are married, good. That person and the spouse. If they are single, that's a problem. Is he con la familia de ella? Oh man, because you have to invite everybody. Carla, the mother, the grandmother, la tía. <clears throat> and then you forget, you know, like I remember. When I got married, like two months later, I saw a very, very good friend of mine. And he looked at me very angry. And I said, Chama, oh my God, I forgot to invite you. <laughs> he was very, you offended me, David. And he, oh my God, Chama, I am so sorry. Yo que fui uno de los padrinos de la boda de él. Imagine, and I forgot to invite him. Yeah. So I was very stressed. So I got married with no shoes. That's a tradition. A a anybody a different tradition here? Yes, in my case, uh, break the glasses. You broke glasses? Are you Jewish? Yes. It's oh, okay. Traditional. It's traditional in uh, India. No, but what religion is that? It's Jew, no? Yes. Okay. Yes, you put the glass in a, and then the two break it, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Is is judio, right? Um, I don't remember, but you don't remember. Well, that's a very special mm -hmm. uh, it's a, ceremony. Uh, realize the dreaming. Uh, I think. Okay. Yeah, because, well, I know that Jewish people do that. Judios do that, you know. Judios have a good, good parties, man. I like, they all dance coordinated. Nice. Mm. Okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. Like two weeks ago, I went to a wedding and that was a little, a little interesting because my cousin, she got married 
and she got married to a person from Taiwan. So um, it was like half and half, you know, when they served the food, it was Salvadorian food and Taiwan food, you know. And then the dance, the dance, like, <laughs> you know, and then, and then the Salvadorian cumbiones, you know, dun, 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 dun. so it, it was, it was very interesting. I like, I like seeing the faces of the people from Taiwan because they were like, what is this? What is this? You know, dancing. So that's beautiful. It's culture. Well, cool. Okay. Huh? No, the food was excellent. Oh, yeah. I personally, I like more the Taiwanese food than the Salvadorian because maybe, I mean, I eat Salvadorian food every day. Not oh, every day, yeah. not every day you eat Taiwan food. My wife, me decía, ¿Qué es esto? I don't know, man, but you just eat it because it was like this big chow mein mix of everything. It was good. I don't know what I ate, but it was very good. Okay, so let's see more about the traditions here. So listen, by the end of this session, you will be able to notice stress and rhythms in sentence. Let's listen to the stress. Pronunciation, stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences, then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Hey, listen, in my opinion, stress is your option. Stress is recalcar. Yes, in my wedding, I didn't use no shoes. In my wedding, I didn't use no shoes. In my wedding, I didn't use shoes. It's what you want to make important. Yes, so really stress is really not Grammar, grammar is your option. Hasta veces puede ser hasta sarcasmo. El político dijo, the polit or el, el mayor, like, el alcalde dijo, that the mayor said he will fix the streets. And look, nothing. You see, I stress the mayor said, that's what I'm saying. When stress is your option, okay? I asked Alma, are you married? She said, no. <laughs> Remember, I asked Alma, are you married? And she said, no. See, I, stre <laughs> I stress what Alma said. You see, so it's your option where the stress goes, okay? Okay. All right, cool. I think, I think I'm going to get sick. Because when I swallow, my ears hurt. Inside, blah. So let me see here. So listen here, by the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial clauses of time. What they 
are and their use. Let's see this. Clauses of time. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject. Comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject. Went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, and follow the examples, she, Sorry. the subject, went, the verb, before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause, and she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. now is making a more or independent clause. Hold on, let me find this here. Dependent or subordinated and a setting because it makes once you see them, she will read them, the verb. Now, when she or dependent clause. I missed this, I understand. Also defines the when something happens. Adver Let's define what an adverbial clause is. Hold on, let me, let me see. I'm looking. Of adverbial Hold on, class. I'm looking for the, the words. I remember it's in one minute. Oh, here it is. Okay, so listen. All these words, when, after, before, since, until, while, and whenever, those words 
express a time, correct? Yes, teacher. Yes. It's not, I mean, it's not important if it's past, present, future, no. But when you say when I was, you're talking about a specific, a, a time. So you understand when? Yes? Yes. After? Yes. Yes. Before? Yes. Yes. Tense? Tense. Yes. Yes. Um, no. Who says no? Maria Stella. Oh, hi, Maria Stella. Okay. I only see I only see your hair. <laughs> Maria Stella, where do you work? I work at the airport. Since when? Since. Desde los 1900 o desde los 2000? Since what? Huh? Since. Since is the beginning. I work in the airport since the year 2000. Oh, since okay. the year 2010. Since Monday. Since is the beginning. Beginning. Yes. El comienzo, el inicio. The beginning, exactly. The beginning of that action. Okay. How long have you lived in, in, San, in San Salvador, Gustavo? In 2017. Okay, good. Since two, 2017 and you don't have a girlfriend in San Salvador? Really? No, man? I don't have a girlfriend, really. Four years, oh man. I'm five four. How old are you? And 29. Dude, I have a girl for you. Okay. I, I have a friend. She's very, very nice. She's single. Really? Yes. Do you want to meet her? Maybe. Oh, I thought you were faithful. No, I'm not unfaithful. You just said you're faithful. You asked me to meet her. I yes. can meet her. I meet girls all day at work. <laughs> At the street, but do say admit. All right, good excuse. Good answer, <laughs> actually. Good answer. A political no, answer. Yes, that's very good. <laughs> okay, so we do understand since, right? Yes, since is the beginning of that action. For example, um, Alba is the, she's lived in all of El Salvador. <laughs> she's from La Union but she has lived in Ilopango and she moved to Santa Ana and then she moved to Sulutan and now she lives in <laughs> she lives in, in San Miguel right yeah <laughs> how long have you lived in San Miguel mm, seven years since I have lived in San Miguel since now, 2014, I think. There you go. Very good. Good. All right, good. So we do understand sense. Now, let's do until. What is until? Hasta que. Yes, very good. Since is the beginning of the action. Until is the end okay. of that action. Yes, I worked in Google until last year. Okay. okay. Next we have, I think, I think those are the most complicated ones. Oh, what is while? This is. Okay, good. Now, this is something very important. Listen. When you say while, the two actions are in the same time. Gente tiende a confundir while con when. For example, listen. 
I was I was sleeping while my wife was watching TV. Same time. Yes, I was sleeping and she was watching TV. The two actions in the same time. Do you understand? I could say I was in classes while my daughter was playing with her toys. Exactly, yes. Mientras. Yeah, mientras. <clears throat> and next we have whenever. Sí. Cuando sea. Yeah, cualquier hora. Call me whenever. La canción de Shakira, contigo, sin ti. Remember that song? Yes. <laughs> in, in, in English, así se llama, whenever, whatever. Well, whenever, yeah, I was see, whenever, whatever. No le digan a nadie que les dije eso, ¿verdad? Porque yo soy rockero, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just mentioned Shakira. Oh, my God, no. Okay, let's do, let's do one practice. Hablemos cosas del presente, cosas que hacemos hoy en día. No cosas que estamos haciendo, cosas que hacemos. What do you do when you wake up? Uh, let me see. Miguel Garcia, what do you do when you wake up? Uh, what do you mean, cup? Wake up, like. Dee, 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 dee. Mm. Wake up in the morning, five, no. six in the morning. When you wake up, what do you do? I, I was sleeping. No. When you wake up, what do you do? Oh. Uh, um... I get up. I, I get up. Um, I take a shower. Okay, very good. Yes. Me too. When I wake up, I stay in bed maybe five minutes and think very stupid things. Like, why? <laughs> why me? Why? And then I wake up, I take a shower, and, and everything passes. <laughs> All right. Evelyn, what do you do when you argue with your boyfriend? Argue. I, I think the things I want to say to him before. Okay. Y le termina pidiendo perdón, ¿verdad? Porque así debe de ser. Yes. No, I'm joking. No, very good. So, when I argue with my boyfriend, I think before I speak. Maribel. What do you do after you eat? Maribel, can you hear me? Okay, Dan Palacios, what do you do after you eat? Oh, I'm sorry, okay. So Maribel, what do you do after you eat? I eat. 
it um, Maribel, listen to my question. No le estoy preguntando qué comió. Hmm. What do you do after you eat? So every day I, you I, eat. I, you eat okay. every day. Every day you eat. Okay. What do you do after you eat? What do you do? I, I eat... Uh, um i watch tv okay okay good i watch tv repeat I watch TV. repeat i watch tv i watch tv after i eat after it after i eat after i eat good thank you good yeah i watch tv after i eat I brush my teeth after I eat. I drink coffee after I eat. Me, I drink coffee after and before I eat. I drink coffee before I go to sleep. Imagine that. All right, Genaro. Hey, wait, I, where, where's Daniel who are you are? Oh, there you are. I haven't. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Hi, teacher. I haven't heard you today. Let's see, Daniel, before. What do you do before you go to bed? Before to? Before you go to bed. Ah, okay. Before I go to bed, um, um, I wash my teeth and I brush. I brush my teeth and I put my pajamas. No me pongo pijama, pero no hay que decir. Okay. Oh, good. I pregunté de si you you use pajamas. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, why you are? Why you are? Okay, it's acceptable. It's cold. Okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So before I go to sleep, I brush my teeth and I put pajamas. Good. Ah, oh, pajamas. We need a poo pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Pep pop. Como es Peppa? Oh, nice. All right, Peppa good. Pig. Peppa Pig. Evelyn. Oh no, no, I already asked Evelyn. Roxana, are you there? Yes. What do you do whenever you are angry? Mm. Whenever? Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I don't understand the question, teacher. It's okay. May, yes, maybe it's a little difficult. You understand whenever, correct? Uh, I am confused. Do you understand whenever? Yes or no? Do you understand no. whenever? Okay, good. Whenever is any time. Uh, never. No, no, no. Listen. No, never is otra cosa aparte. Okay. Whenever, if I tell you, Roxana, call me whenever. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night. No problem. Whenever. Ah, okay. What is whenever? Es como, en ese ejemplo, como a cualquier hora, o no hay problema. Good. Yes, eso es. Anytime. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do whenever you are angry? I eat a uh, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream or chocolate. Well, that's good. Whenever I am angry. Roxana, entiende mi pregunta. 
No, teacher, estoy confundida. Ok, no eso, logro darle okay. El sentido. Entiende que es whenever. Que en cualquier si no momento, entiende eso, en cualquier uh, si no entiende eso, no va a entender la pregunta. Entiende whenever. Yes? Que es como a cualquier hora. Uh -huh. Angry. Hambre. No. Angry. Uh. Ah, enojado. Yes. Hungry. Se parecen las palabras. El otro uh -huh. es hungry. This is angry. Uh -huh. Ah, por eso dijo ahí chocolate. Yes. No, pero hay personas que cuando se enojan comen. <laughs> okay, so my question is, what do you do whenever you are angry? Uh, normally I listen to music okay. or I start alone. Okay, very good. Whenever I am angry. Whenever I am angry, I usually listen to music. Excellent. Good, good. Me too. Whenever I am angry, I I like to be alone. Because sometimes maybe I am offensive. So whenever I am angry, I, I go to my room and stay alone. Until it passes. Very good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Melissa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, what do you do whenever you are sad? I take a nap. Whenever. Complete the sentence, please. I take a nap. I take a nap whenever I feel sad. Very good, thank you. Very good. Whenever I am sad, I only look at my son and everything is beautiful again. There is some to leave. Yes. Whenever I'm sad, I, I only, or, or I look at a picture of my son and, uh, and then I, I smile. All right. Very good. Uh, Acuérdense mucho bien el, el, el uso, acuérdense mucho bien, acuérdense bien el, el uso de whenever, porque eso se usa para consejos. Eh, todos han dicho, hey, llámame cuando sea, man, si tienes problemas, con, call me. If you have problems, call me whenever. Cuando estés triste, busca ayuda. Whenever you are sad, look for help. Si uno está a dieta y cuando te dé hambre, come lechuga. <laughs> Whenever you are hungry, eat or drink water. Okay. Okay. Va a tomarlo como sí. Okay. Uh, and that, that's, mañana vamos a ir con while and until. Okay. Le voy a dar un ejemplo para que lo piensen. Until. What is until? Okay. Hasta que. Hasta okay. The Listen to this. Until I stopped smoking, I started getting fatter. Getting? Do you understand what I said? No. Yes. yes. So listen to, remember until is stop, right? So until I stopped smoking, I started getting bigger, fatter. ¿Qué dije? Hasta que yo deje de fumar voy a estar mejor. No. Hasta no. que dejo de fumar. Exacto. Nunca dije, Daniel, ¿dónde dije beber? <laughs> no, listen to this. Until I stopped smoking, hasta que paré de fumar, 
I started getting fatter. Y eso es cierto, empecé a engordar bastante de cuando dejé de fumar. Porque ya después mis ansias se pasaron a chocolate, candy, sugar. Entonces, eso vamos a ir mañana, que hasta, me pueden dar ejemplos, hasta que conocí a Dios. Hay gente que dice eso. Did you smoke this year? Yes, I, I used to smoke a lot. Can you show me you, your teeth? <laughs> No, no, my teeth are okay. My wife is a dentist. Um, so, wife. Yeah, no, but maybe smoking was not my problem with my teeth, my, uh, uh, the coffee. So, <laughs> cada dos o tres meses, I meet my esposa. Joden, man, de verdad, nunca se vayan a casar con un doctor. Eso sí joden más que un doctor, me normal. Like, if you, if you minuta, no, 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 te voy a tomar los dientes. Uh, well, her yeah. practice is with you. Yeah. Un doctor normal nunca dice, hey, mira, fíjate que no bebas eso porque trae mucho azúcar y el azúcar se te va a hacer plato. No dicen eso. Pero un dentista sí. No, mira, eso te va a quebrar los dientes. De... Man. Mi pobre hijo ha sufrido, man. <laughs> Mi hijo nunca va a comer dulce, dice. Y está loca. ¿no? ¿Quieres que lo hagan de pato en la escuela? No. Ahí en la piñata brócoli le van a poner. <risa> yeah, you know. Y le digo. Zanahoria. Yes. Le digo, a patas lo van a dar en el kinder. No, y le digo, you know, es parte de ser niños candy, man. Okay, maybe don't eat in excess. Yes. But I all just simply let me all this. But no, but okay, so mañana todo digan eso porque hay gente que dice hasta que conocí a Dios me empecé mi vida bien o, o hasta que cuando uno dice until es hasta que paró esa acción empezó una nueva. Entonces, practiquen algo para ver qué es lo que vamos a compartir mañana con la clase. Eh, por ejemplo, me imagino que Evelyn, hasta que vino a San Salvador, eh, vivió sola. No, no, al contrario. Hasta que vino a San Salvador, empezó a vivir sola. A trabajar. Está... Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Like Gustavo, I had only one girlfriend until I came to San Salvador. And I still have only one girlfriend. Why? No. I don't know why. No, I'm joking. I, I, Good I for wake you. up all day and say and ask me the same. Why? Why? No, that's good. Four years, four years in San Salvador and your girlfriend in San Miguel. That's, that is love. That's cool. Because really, yeah. it's, a, it's a long distance relation. Yes, but it's not a big distance. So. Well, now with WhatsApp and everything, it's, it's not, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, some couples say me it's better. No, look, there's nothing better. No, only if you feel good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. That's the important thing. If you feel good, do it. I have been married 10 years and I am extremely happy. And I have friends that they say, oh, I have friends that are very stressed about married, about being married. Solo me alegro, no soy así. <laughs> no me gustaría estar así. De... <sighs> I have, tengo 43 años. No, 44. I am 44. I have friends that still say, hey, don't, hey let's go, let's go to a bar. Let's, 
like, like, like you're 20. Salen así como, like, hey, vamos a chupar. En los... Really? You're not married, man? It's your family? I prefer, I prefer to be in my house with my son playing. But that's what I'm saying. If you're happy, you're happy. Go. So, oh, until I got married, I became responsible. No, until, until I had my son, I became a responsible man. Yes, married, I was responsible, but until I had my son, oh man, my life changed. Like, hasta que. Okay, so tomorrow we will practice until. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. Okay, have a good night. Thank you very much, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.